Hey everyone, my name is Megan and this is Painted in Distressed. This video is part of my fall series and make sure you stick around for the entire video as there is a giveaway of this Dollar Tree calendar and this is also part of the Here's Your Crown Women Supporting Women Challenge that's open to any creator and it's the last Saturday of every month. It's hosted by Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. I am co-hosting this month and the guest host is Tammy from the Rusted Willow. This first project, we're gonna take this burlap tabletop decor sign from Dollar Tree and I'm just taking the burlap part off and look at all that glitter. Oh my word, I didn't realize how much glitter was on this sign until I started taking it apart. My tabletop was covered in layers of glitter. Anyways, so now we're gonna take this piece of fabric from Walmart and it is on the reverse side and I'm just taking a fabric marker and tracing out that pumpkin shape. And then I'm just cutting it out, apparently off camera, I apologize. And so once that is cut out, I'm just gonna fray the edges a little bit to give it a distressed look. And this first project is inspired by my sweet friend, Lynn from Hot Mess and Hot Glue. She made one in her sunflower fall DIY, Dollar Tree DIY video. And her channel is linked down below. She is filled with so much inspiration. She's such a sweet and dear friend to me and I don't know what my life would be like without her. So make sure you check out her channel and let, let her know that I sent you. And so now I'm just covering the entire piece of the sign with Mod Podge. And I'm just using the matte Mod Podge and I'm giving it a good thick layer. And then I just put the fabric on top of it. And I'm just smoothing it out using my Cricut scraper tool. And then now I'm adding a generous layer of matte Mod Podge onto the top of it. And I'm taking these wooden word words that I got from Dollar Tree and just trying to figure out which ones I want. They came in a pack of six. And I decided on this one that says, Hello Autumn, and I'm giving it one coat of Apple Barrel Paint in the color Mountain Blue. This is such a beautiful blue. I love it. And once it was dry, then I gave it a good sanding to distress it using my trusty Dollar Tree sandpaper. And this is a, I believe I used a 150 grit on this one. These sandpaper packs, are, they're great from Dollar Tree. Okay, so then now I'm taking this sign and I'm just hot gluing it, or the words rather, and I'm just hot gluing it to the sign. And I didn't exactly want to put it in the middle, so that's why it's a little, it's not exactly on the top of the pumpkin, but it's not exactly in the middle either. And I'm taking these mini pumpkins from Dollar Tree and I'm just kind of deciding where I want to put them. And then using an X-Acto knife, I am cutting them in half. And you have to be very careful when you cut these in half. I actually should have used a knife because it has a bigger blade because these easily rip apart. They're just foam and it's a soft foam. Um, so, and the outer layer rips very easily. So then once I split them in half and then I used, I just uh, reattached their stems and then I'm just cutting the 
another one. That green cutting mat I'm using, that's from Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And I'm just hot gluing these to the sign. I wanted to add a little 3D embellishment to this since the wording is a little bit 3D as well, but also because the pumpkin is so flat. So I just hot glued those. And then I'm getting out the good old Spanish moss. You know, I love this stuff, but my goodness, it's a, it's so messy. It's so messy. No matter what you do, it's messy. Anyway, so I'm just adding it around the bottom pumpkins. Give this a little bit more character. And I did use some spray glue to attach it. And that stuff works great. And then now I'm just taking some Waverly chalk paint in the color Fawn, and I'm just kind of dirtying up these pumpkins a little bit. They were cute as is, but I just want to add a little bit more character to them, since the Spanish rock moss kind of adds a little bit more character and, and a little bit more rusticness to the sign. And here it is. I added a little twine to the top of the stem and I just love how this turned out. And I would love to know what you guys think down below. This next project is a Kirkland's dupe, but also inspired by my one of, another one of my sweet friends that I will get to in just a minute. So I'm taking these pumpkins. They're all from Dollar Tree. This first one is from last year. It's one of those velvet ones. They still have them this year as well. They have a huge assortment of pumpkins. Um, I liked the stem on that particular one. And then this orange one is just the car carvable foam ones. And at first I painted it orange with my orange mixture of Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin mixed with some burnt umber and some white, but then I realized I wanted it more like the picture and I paint it a different color in just a minute. So then I'm taking this pumpkin that was the original velvet pumpkin and I'm giving it a couple coats of Waverly chalk paint in the color celery. I love this color so much. I use it for spring, fall. So then this is where I realized, oh, you dumb dum I should have painted it white. So now I'm just taking my Waverly chalk paint and a way too small brush for this big pumpkin and gave it a good coat. And then now I'm going over the smallest pumpkin with some folk art white wax. I love this stuff so much. I'm trying to give it that more rustic character um, like the Kirkland's picture. And then I just wipe it off. I use a combination of a paper towel and a baby wipe until I get the desired effect that I want. And then you just kind of have to play with it. Take a little off, add a little, you know, it's, it's a little tedious sometimes. And I did the same thing for the, the green one. So now with the largest one, I'm taking the Antiquing Wax by Waverly, and I'm applying that to the entire pumpkin. I wanted to dirty this up, but I didn't want it to be brown or anything. I just wanted to kind of highlight the rinds in between the pumpkin. I think that's what they're called. Um, but also make it a little dirty. So this project is inspired by my sweet friend Mary Beth from MB Gray Designs. Oh my gosh, she is so talented, you guys. I she as her channel is filled with so much inspiration. She has such a great sense of humor too, and she's just such a wonderful friend to me and so dear to me as well as just like Lynn and make sure you guys check out her channel as well and the video that this inspired my project will be linked down below as well and let her know i sent you so now i'm just wiping off with a baby wipe um, a little bit of the wax and then i went in with some white wax 
it's a process, okay? <laughs> it seems like a lot of work, but I promise you it's not. This did not take me that long. Um, and then I just kind of wipe it off in spots. And then now I'm taking Waverly chalk paint in the color Fawn. I love this color for so many different things. And then I'm adding highlights with that as well. Just kind of dirtying up this pumpkin even more. Instead of using a brush, I actually ended up just kind of using a paper towel and just kind of dabbing it on. I liked the more control I had. And then now I'm taking the white wax again, and I'm applying that the same way with a paper towel. And this is just a dry paper towel. I liked the dimension that it gave. Sometimes that's what I do instead of using a paintbrush. Um, so that's what I did here. And I love how this turned out. All those layers of paint. <laughs> so now we've got to assemble our project. And I am using a candlestick from Dollar Tree. These come in a couple different designs and they also come, I'm using the black one, they also come in white. And so in between each layer of pumpkins, I'm gonna add some Spanish moss after I had just cleaned up after the other project, so that was fun. And I'm just using hot, I, a combination of hot glue and pressure because it's kind of hard to get Spanish moss to stick <laughs> in between these parts. So you have to kind of, I just kind of push down after I applied the hot glue for a minute and then that way, you know, to apply pressure and then that way it, they all stuck together. And my cats have knocked this over several times now since I have made this and luckily it has stayed together. And then I'm just adding the stem from the middle pumpkin. I loved the character this had and I, I did add some white wax to it. And I did end up adding some Spanish moss to the biggest pumpkin on the bottom. And this is how it turned out. Oh, I just love how this I love how the how rustic the pumpkins look and I just I absolutely love this and I would love to know what you guys thought think down below and here are the projects we made today so the good stuff I recently hit 800 subscribers on my channel and I have no idea how and as a huge thank you I am giving away a 2022 Dollar Tree Farm Fresh calendar. So all you need to do is somewhere in this video, an emoji popped up just like my last giveaway. And all you need to do is just comment down below with that emoji. Make sure not to spoil it for anybody that's cheating and not watching the video <laughs> in the comments. So if you just wanted to comment just with whatever that emoji is, that would be great. The winner will be announced September 4th on my Instagram, so make sure you are following me on my Instagram. And I will reply to your comment here on YouTube, letting you know that you are the winner. Make sure, and I thank each and every single one of you guys for your support. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much to Lynn and to Mary Beth for your inspiration, for being such a good friend to my, to <laughs> and for being such a great friend to me. Thank you to Connie for hosting this challenge and Tammy for guest hosting. And that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.